Hi everyone and welcome back to Gridiron and Grace. Today we are going to be decorating with some new thrifted and antique items that I have shared recently and I'm also going to be putting some of my everyday decor back up after Easter. But we're getting started on my mantle and I was so excited to use these new floral candlesticks or candle holders and you'll see over here that I'm gonna kind of have a floral theme going on um, in this spot of my mantle. So um, I hope you are excited about today's video. So sit back, relax, and let's do some decorating. I thought that all of these floral details were perfect for spring and to lead us on into summer and I love how all the colors of these just kind of tie in with all the rest of my decor the greens the galvanized the white the brass I just love how all of this turned out On this side, I am adding some thrifted pieces, but they're not uh, pieces that I picked up recently. I did get this box right around Easter time and I used it in my Easter decor, but this candle holder is thrifted years ago, uh, but I decided just kind of change it up. It used to be on the other side of my mantle, but I decided to put it in this little box decor. And then I also wanted to pull some floral um, detailed things to this side so I'm going to be putting in this little candle um, holder that I got from uh, a store in Tennessee with a little flameless flickering candle in front of it and I think that it just ties in nicely with all of the floral candle holders on the other side. Now we're moving to the hearth and I am keeping my stool here. I absolutely love that. I got it recently um, and I am going to be adding these new thrifted books that I got from the antique flea market. I love the color of this and I thought that the green in this color matched the green on the floral candle holders on top of my mantle. Just kind of tie everything together and then I'm just going to put the little dolly back on top and then add a little wood piece with a greenery decor in it. On this side, I am changing up the whole look of this. So I'm going to remove this basket and greenery piece. I am going to find another place to style that later on in the video. But I'm putting this new basket that I got from the antique store. And then in there, I'm putting some beads that I got from there. As well as a little greenery piece and dolly. So the basket and the beads are newly thrifted. The dolly I thrifted a little while ago. And then the little greenery ball I've had for a while. But I got it from Hobby Lobby. I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie that I die I can't hide what this is oh, oh. Yeah, I keep drowning in those blue eyes And you can 
This is where I decided to put the little basket right here on my bench and I'm just going to be adding my buffalo check pillows over here. I'm going to put one in the basket and then I'm also going to put the little galvanized picture with the buffalo check on it and the greenery in there as well and then the other pillow beside it. I really like how all this looks together and then I still get to use my little basket. Now we're working on this piece that I have in the back of my living room. I'm just going to put my little white candles back on there and then add some other candles that I had in this dough bowl before Easter. Um, these mercury glass candlesticks I got from Hobby Lobby around Christmas time. But now we're going to these shelves and there are a few pieces that I want to change up. So I'm going to take down my Love Grows Here Ray Dunn planters. I am leaving this large brass candlestick that I thrifted uh, not too long ago and the little pit berry ring on there. And then I'm going to be uh, changing up the top shelf a little bit. I decided to switch this candle holder or you know move it over there to the other side and then I'm also adding this little riser that I had underneath my bench before I gave it a little refresh with the same greenery piece on top then I'm going to add a smaller thrifted brass candle holder on here as well This is where I'm going to put that thrifted gray vine ball. And right here, I'm showing you the bigger one that I got from several, uh, or I got it from the thrift store several years ago. But I knew I wanted to add it to kind of match this one that I already had over here. And you'll see me go back and forth. I play around with it and move it around a little bit. I end up putting it on another candle, um, little candle holder because I think it needed to be raised up a little bit but you'll see how it ends up in just a minute.
So I decided that the shelf needed something else. You know, I'm a maximalist over here. So if there's an empty space, I feel like I have to put a decor piece there. But I'm just going to be adding this same little set of things that I used to have on my mantle. This is actually a plate stand. And then I'm just going to layer some candle rings on it. I'm not doing much to the bottom shelf, but I am going to add this wicker piece. I actually think it's like a pot warmer. Um, I'm going to add it. It was thrifted around the Christmas time, but I thought that it just kind of gave another textured element to this place. And then I'm also just adding a little white candle holder that I got from Hobby Lobby. The last thing I'm going to do in this area is just add a little greenery wreath on this command hook that I have on the side of the furniture piece. I think it just gives this area a little bit more greenery and I'm really glad that I decided to put that there. I've never done that before, but I really like how it turned out. Now we are moving to my hutch and I'm just going to go through and add a few of the um, new thrifted and antique decor pieces starting with these cast iron um, I think they are coasters, but I'm going to put them under my little Ray Dunn creamer right here on the bottom of my hutch. To my little cream pitcher on this side, I'm adding my wooden masher. Um, thank you to those who told me in my last video what that was called. My mind blanked whenever I was sharing it. And then I'm also going to add my little spool to this area as well. You'll see later on, I do come back and add something else, but this is what I'm adding for now. Really like how this turned out. This is one of my favorite shells. I love my little brown uh, wooden drawers over here and how I have this whole area decorated. I wanted to make sure that you could see my new little candle snuffer because I absolutely love it. So I put it right here in the front and I think it makes such a statement and it's just so, so cute. I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for more of those. And then I decided to add my little sifter up here to my top shelf. to be working on my crocs and i knew i wanted to change this shelf up so i'm just going to start by removing everything off of this shelf because i have some new crocs that i want to try to add um so i'm just gonna let you watch me decorate this shelf like i said we have a lot to put on here i'm showing you right here the little collection of crocs new and also the ones that i just pulled off of the shelf and a couple of other items i'm gonna try to make work on that shelf so let's get to styling this um i really like like how it turns out but I do go back and forth play with it a little bit until I get it how I like it maybe it's cause we are got time and we're wasted got no plans for the night I love how you look at me feeling low nothing to lose can we stay here tonight cause I don't wanna go I know the tension's gone now and that you won't stay here Keep looking back, don't wanna forget ya Yeah, I wanna do it all again So I keep pushing it wide Hoping you'll still by my side We can't get lost in time But don't you wanna do it all again? Start gonna repeat in my mind Dancing with you by my side We can't get lost in time Yeah, I wanna do it all again the world had time that we wasted we were young and 
tension's gone now And that you won't come back Keep looking back, don't wanna forget ya Yeah, I wanna do it all again So I keep pushing rewind Hoping you'll still by my side We can't get lost in time But don't you wanna do it all again Stuck on repeating my mind Dancing with you by my side We can't get lost in time I know that several of these Crocs are the same height and so I wanted to display them at varying levels so that you could see all of them in a way. And so I used a spool, a little riser, and then a couple of Crocs I sat on top of other Crocs. Um, so I'm just showing you what it looks like but I do decide to move a couple around. This one right here that didn't have a lid on it that I have a little greenery uh, decorative ball on top. I decided to switch it to the back because I really like the color of the Croc I had back there and I just didn't feel like you could see it as much as I wanted you to. So I do change it up a little bit and I ended up um, moving a couple of other things in there. So let me get this switched out and then I'll show you how it looks. Since I moved this piece, I decided to put it over here with this spool and masher that I had in my little cream canister just to kind of make it a little grouping of three. And I really like how it turned out. Lost again, going back around. Dreaming of a time when I get things right. Lost in the shadows of a million stars. Shouldn't they now the last place we're going to work on in today's video is my coffee area and I knew that I wanted to take out my Ray Dunn um, big pie dishes in here just to kind of give it a different look and I know I had several things um, that I was going to put over here and I just didn't think they would fit with the pie dishes that I had in the corners. So I am taking this little riser that I used to have some of my Crocs on, moving it over here. I'm just going to work on this a little bit and get my other canisters put back on here now. My little jug would not fit back on the shelf where I had the Crocs, uh, which is where I had it before, but I knew I wanted it to be seamed because I love that thing. I think it's so cute. And now I'm going to work on this sh little drawer that I have in here. This is one of my favorite thrift store finds. I got it for $5 um, a couple of months ago, and I've had it in this area, but I knew I had several new pieces that I wanted to add over here. So I'm just going to work on getting this styled, and I really love how it turns out. So 
of the new items are this little glass insulator and this little pottery piece right here beside it. And then also this amber glass um, jar. I absolutely love this. I have some amber glass on the bottom of my coffee uh, station over here. And so I just think it just kind of ties all that in together. I also put my new copper teapot, this Hershey's cocoa canister. And I also recently got this pestle and mortar wood set from uh, Marshalls. So I really love it. Or TJ Maxx. I think I got it from TJ Maxx. So now I'm just giving you an overview of what the top of the shelf looks like. I would say that 90% of these items are thrifted. There are a couple of things up here that I got from like Dirt Cheap, the Dollar General, but still very inexpensive. Um, now we're moving to the bottom and I'm going to take this pie dish out like I did the one on the top and then kind of rework this little corner. I'm starting with this wooden box that I thrifted for just a few dollars thought it kind of complemented the bigger one on top and then I love this new brown pottery bowl that I got and I'm just going to drape out of there some beads and also a greenery piece that I've had for a while even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down I'm putting my brass and copper candlestick back here that I had before and then I took that little um, greenery plant that I got from Target and put it in this little galvanized uh, little planter or tin thing that I have. I got it from the thrift store a long time ago but I have a lot of copper and amber glass on this bottom shelf and I love it. I didn't change much of anything else. All of these amber glass cups belong to Kenny's grandmother so I really like to display them um, and I've decided that there were too, was too much greenery going on in this um, particular spot. So I am going to move this greenery, add it to the top, and add one more dolly. Even if the sky is falling down Alright friends, well that's going to be the end of today's video. I know this was kind of a longer one, but I really hope that you enjoyed coming along and decorating with me today. I would love it if you would give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And I can't wait to see you in my very next one. Have a blessed week, friends. Bye!